Oh man, I yeah, I butchered that one. I'm not gonna hide it. Mistakes happen. Yo, family gaming. Hello and welcome back. We are on our way to the mine. Last episode, we got all our greenhouses completely filled up, ready to go. But there was a little concerning factor of the lime shortage. So I'm going to try to fix that, put in a few other lime production, and change up my stone storage. So that is the plan for this episode. I sold that yellow pickup truck that I had at the top of the hill. And it seems like I've stopped lagging so much. I was kind of worried how this episode's going to go with me just lagging the whole time. But it's looking kind of promising. So, let's go with that. First things first, let's get rid of this. It's not going to do what I want it to do. I want it to distribute. So we're going to go back to the one we had before. We'll go back to this one right here. It's not exactly the most realistic one, but... Also not playing realistic, I guess, so, hey, save that for a different playthrough. And I have thought about it plenty of times. I do plan on going and using the dozer. I have my steering wheel and little joystick control setup thing here. Kind of interested in using that and seeing how well it works. First, let me just get a truckload of this if I can. It just really seems like it sucks us down so much more than it should. And if y'all haven't seen that before in the previous episode, we'll see that here in a little bit once I fire up the dozer or whatever it would be called. So while that's going on, let's look at putting in some more productions for lime. That's our big issue. And I think I might just, you know, I don't really like this taking up all this room, but I, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Let's just go ahead and leave it. I'll put them in right here. So that will almost work. There we go. That will work. Let's go ahead and take this load over to one of them. Oh, actually, I'm right next to one. What am I doing? There we go. Go ahead and drop that in there. That looks a little crooked compared to the other one. Eh, maybe I got a little OCD, I don't know. Or it could be from the military. Always trying to get things lined up straight. So the rock powder I do not need. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rock powder, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and set that up as selling. And the lime I'm going to set up as distributing. Now let's get another load and get that other one started. And after I get these started, I will switch over to the dozer. I'm probably just destroying that name. I don't know. Bulldozer. As far as construction equipment goes, I don't know. The only thing I've really used is a backhoe. Even if you can consider that construction equipment. All right. I'm not going to make up any excuses, really. But the last few times... I was playing this, not this map, but I was running the Terraform mod, testing it out and trying it out. And I did that less than a week ago. And I was using a dozer. So maybe that's why I have dozer on my mind, but that is not a dozer. I <laughs> just looked it up. I totally butchered that. That shit, just a wheel loader, I guess, is what it's going to be considered. Oh, man. I, yeah, I butchered that one. I'm not going to hide it mistakes happen but yeah I was using a dozer to practice making a road that's understandable and I forgot to activate this let's activate that other one and then this is the one that's going in it right now oh man I need water will it distribute over here there might be a range on those water distributors now that I think about it that might be why it's not going to that uh sheep pen you know what let me get some water over here shouldn't be too bad I'll just call up the shop and have one of the employees bring it over because I have an auto drive route set up over here 
There we go. Got that truck coming over from the greenhouses. I'm going to go ahead and get this moved out of the way. And then we're going to start using the wheel loader. Hey, there. I got the name right. Maybe. Man, these things are so slow. Maybe the... i get this done before the sun goes down. Oh, well, here it comes. I just got done switching this distributor for the stone over to distribute. And then here comes the water truck. And it just told me it arrived. Yay! Good. I have not had this truck go outside of that greenhouse since getting it. It's literally just been there to load water and dump water. That's it. Now that it's got water, it holds 60,000 liters. I'm hoping that my distributor will distribute it. But now that it's got water, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Get that line producing and I'm going to put this on distribute. Let's get this heading back, and then I'm going to get the wheel loader and start loading up my truck and uh, loading up that distributor. And I do not have a setup for the greenhouses yet. I'll just send it back to the shop and I'll figure it out later. Bye-bye. That's pretty nice. I like that. I do like how FS22 did put in a driver. Um where you could hire a driver to drive a vehicle. I mean, it doesn't work that good. It definitely wouldn't work on this map because these roads do not exist. I made them all. So that auto drive comes in handy quite a bit. And right before I started filming this, I actually made sure I set all these up and I made sure I saved them because that is an issue that happened last time. Now, let me see what I'm doing for one. I got this little joystick here. There we go. Took me a while. But it turned out... That joystick was linked to the gear shifter somehow. I mean, that's weird because I've used it before. With a forklift. I don't know. I think, I think some of those keybinds just change over time. Because I've been having a few issues. Here and there. No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, I was giving that a try. It looks like I'm gonna have to figure out some key bindings with it because I need to work multiple mouse clicks at the same time and it doesn't seem to be working very good I don't know I've never used it before so <laughs> let me see what else I got in here well this might be overkill but uh yeah I think I just stepped up our operation for sure you know that I'm a keep it cold with you I feel a breaking rules on the edge looking now with no parachute you know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge, screening out With us it's all or nothing
That is perfectly normal. to get rid of that big massive thing it was just causing too much of an issue man this is some hilly hilly terrain uh that big that big wheel thing was just causing way too much lag so went ahead and got rid of it i'll stick with this Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to use this because of how much trouble I'm having with it. I probably have enough in here. <laughs> Looks like quite a bit. About to roll over. Let me let it roll over to 11 o'clock and see where we're at. Empty. Oh yeah, I forgot one of these holds like a million. Yep, this one's got 163,000 in it. And this one's got 32,000 in it. Okay, looks like I got quite a bit to do.
All right, God. Wide a bit of stone there. Man, that was such a huge piece of equipment. I was lagging so bad. It was moving 50,000 liters plus at a time. It was ridiculous. And I kept getting stuck. It's just so hilly right there. It's so hard to work. Yes, that would work perfect if I was on a nice flat level ground. And I probably wouldn't lag so bad either if I didn't have so much stuff in that area. Or, or if I had a better computer. Hey, we'll see. Maybe one day. But anyways, I had a lot of fun there. It was huge learning experience. This video might turn out being a little short. Because there was a lot of stuff I was trying to do here and there. That I'm going to cut out. Kind of trial and error. I mean, I tried out a couple of new things. And some of them, I mean, they just didn't quite work out. So I kind of went back to... Just sucking the rocks up and dumping it in the back of a truck. And then I brought in another truck for more speed, I guess. More production to get more going. And I figured I'll stop there. I wanted to get a bunch of rocks in that little one. And then that other one takes a million rock. All the rocks I have in that distributor will go there. I might have to go back down there to fill up the other one eventually. But that would just be a scoop and or a truckload. Not even worried about it. I have fun messing around with it. It's nice. So if you do download this map, Willamina 22, comes in a two-pack. There's more of a city fill one, and then there's just completely forest. That's the one I'm on right now, Willamina Forest. If you do download this map, the rocks have moved to a different location. The map has been updated. I have not updated my map because I would lose all this. And this is quite a bit of work. It actually has 79 hours on this map right now. Just know the rocks are not in that location. They are somewhere else. I'm not sure where. All I know is clear out the roads that are there and you'll find them. That's what I've heard. As always, thank you so much for watching. Y'all haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, y'all take care.